Hi everybody, this is Walk from Novo Pinji, and today I'm going to shoot a quick video on how to get started with a WaxCloud wallet. Uh, I just want to call out real quick, if you are new to crypto, brand new, never set up a wallet before, uh, learning how to navigate, how to even just get a wallet set up, um, there's another video that we have recorded on how to get set up with an Anchor Cloud wallet for Wax. Uh, I think it's a much simpler process on how to get started with Wax. Um, unfortunately, with Wax wallets now, there is a incremental cost to even get a wallet set up. Um, and so because of that, I think it's a lot easier to get an Anchor Cloud wallet set up. It's a couple of dollars. You can fund it with um, regular fiat. Um, you can use Apple Pay and a bunch of other different options. So it's a lot faster to do that. Um, with Wax Cloud Wallet, which we're going to cover off on here, I think it's, it's a lot better for those that know how to navigate uh, exchanges and are comfortable with withdrawing and sending in some wax. Um, it is five wax to get an account set up. Um, so like I mentioned, if you're brand new, I suggest you watch the other video. Um, but if you are uh, not new to crypto, um, you certainly use exchanges regularly. This is probably at least one route to go. Um, if you do prefer to have a custodial wallet and manage your own keys, then you'll want to go and get an Anchor Cloud Wallet set up. Um, but for those that are comfortable with Wax um, and just getting the Wax Cloud Wallet set up, it's uh, a couple steps that we need to go through to actually get it set up. Um, so first and foremost, we just need to go through uh, getting your credentials at least um, set up first. So I'm just going to use the single sign-on options that are here. I'm just going to use my Gmail account to at least get this going. And then once you've authenticated um, Gmail, you're going to come to this um, essentially this gateway landing page here where you need to um, go ahead and fund this wallet uh, with five wax. And so here is the memo and obviously the address of where we need to send the five wax. Um, so I'm going to use my Bitrix account. Um, depending on uh, the exchange that you use, wax is available on a number of different exchanges. So Binance, KuCoin. Um, OKS is another one, um, Crypto.com. Uh, a couple of the major ones like Coinbase and Gemini don't have WaxP, um, but most exchanges do have it, so it's you shouldn't have any problems finding it. Um, but let's just go ahead and at least complete this exchange. So I'm just going to jump over here to Bitrix and click on Withdraw. Let me just come back over here. So I'll just grab... Uh, the recipient's wallet address, which is just going to be this new user.wax, and then the memo as well. And then I just want to make sure I at least get the five wax minimum in here. So I'll, I'll just send in 10 just so I have a bit more in here as well. And then I can just click on withdraw. Let me just pause the video. Okay, so there's the two factor authentication in, and my withdrawal is being submitted. So I'm just going to pause the video and then just wait for this withdrawal to go through, and then we can resume. Okay, so that transaction's gone through. You can see it's pretty fast. Um, the page has already refreshed, and now my WaxCloud wallet has been created. And you can see here, um, this is my new WaxCloud wallet ID. And there's a bunch of different things that are in here. So you can obviously, this is the main dashboard. You can obviously see a bunch of different dApps that are on Wax. If you purchase any NFTs, um, so you can see Wax is actually dropped in here, a Wax Club wallet badge. This is an NTT, so it's not um, sellable. Um, it's just uh, collectible. Um, there's a whole bunch of different tools that are in here. So they have a whole staking rewards program, any Wax news. That's been posted. Um, there is an Ethereum um, bridge that's been set up now, so you can transfer uh, Wax P to Wax E. So there is an Ethereum bridge now that's established. Um, there's an NFT um, bridge that's been set up to Binance now. So if you have um, Binance and um, any NFTs that you purchase on Binance, you can actually bridge over to Wax. So if there's any projects. Um, like Blockchain Brawlers is one, for example, if you've purchased an NFT over on Binance, you can now bridge it over uh, into Wax, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's how you get a Wax wallet um, set up. So again, like I mentioned, not too difficult to do if you're comfortable with exchanges and just withdrawing a little bit of Wax to get it set up. Um, but if, like I mentioned, if you are a newbie, 
um, and are new to at least setting up wallets, then take a look at the Anchor Cloud Wallet um, video as that might be a better option for you. And also for crypto enthusiasts, if you would prefer to have a wallet to manage your own keys, um, then that, that's certainly the wallet that you are going to want to get set up. All right, that's, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.